Heavily armed police officers preparing for the worst today in Garden City. News 12's Darius Radzius shows us the active shooter training drill you will see only on 12. Best. It couldn't get more real than this. Can any unit of guys say report the shots fired? But don't worry, it's only a drill. Sergeant Katrina Radigan was among hundreds of her fellow officers at Nassau Community College. She says her adrenaline was running high as it would in real life. You should be nervous for the situations like this. These are scary situations. Nassau and other local police were challenged to respond to all kinds of threats. Active shooters, both single and multiple. There are two subjects in the main gym. As well as improvised explosives and suicide vests. The unit securing the gym. Waiting for us in bomb at home. Threats we've already seen in this country, like Friday's active shooter in Colorado and around the world, like the Paris terror attacks. We learn from that and there's always takeaways. And here in Nassau County, we uh, take that information and we push that into the training to make sure our cops are the most prepared anywhere. This was hands on training for police here at Nassau Community College with actors playing the role of the attackers and innocent people. Police learn how to go after the threat and evacuate the people, including the injured especially in the, in the uh, times we live in. Nassau County Executive Ed Magano says they'll review the lessons they've learned here to help officers improve their response. That's what today's about, to monitor our response, to understand how we respond, and then, of course, to see how we can respond better. Officers like Sergeant Radigan tell me they feel better prepared if an attack happened here. I feel like we have a lot to discuss now from today's training, and that'll better prepare us moving forward in the future. In Garden City. Command post to headquarters. Has the threat been neutralized? Darius Radius. 901, are all those subjects neutralized? 10 News 12, Long Island. Wow. Nassau police also trained at the New York Institute of Technology in Old Westbury. The county received a $40,000 grant from the U.S. Homeland Security Department for today's drill.